Hi, we're doing a bank reconciliation question today and I won't spend too long explaining because we've done that already. So you've got the two T account, you've got the two accounts, you've got the bank T account, which is the customer's records, and the customer thinks they have 530 of a credit balance in their account at the end of the month. Then we look at the bank statement, which is here, and the bank statement is 839 closing balance as a minus. So there's a difference there. And really, that's what a bank reconciliation is. We're trying to reconcile this 839 here with this closing balance of 530. So that's what we're going to end up doing. And as part of that, we'll have to reconcile the opening balances of 600 here versus 400 here. Then we'll have to correct any errors in the T account and any emissions and the same with any emissions here. And so three steps, reconcile the opening balances, adjust the T account, and then adjust the bank statement. And in all these questions, and it should say, it says it further down, well, it doesn't, but it should, is that you always assume the bank statement is correct. So uh, the first thing to do is the opening balances. So your starting point is the opening balance in the bank statement, which is 400. And we're going to reconcile to minus 600 because if it's on the credit side it's a minus if it was on an opening balance on the debit side it would be plus so here it's minus 400 uh, so you start off with the opening balance for the bank statement and it's always this format if you're heading part a the opening balance for bank statement and then we're going to look for lodgements not yet processed and checks not yet present for payment and those two things plus the lodgements minus the check we should end up here with minus 600. That's what we want to end up at when we go there. So the easiest thing to get is the checks. So you look in the bank T account and the checks start in 64. So any checks written before that or with numbers before that must have been written in January or December earlier months. So we come down to the bank statement and look for any checks before 64 and we see one here. Check 58 for 1112. Okay. So that is one of the reasons why it's a timing difference. Uh, that check is has, was recorded in the T account, but it wasn't recorded yet in the bank statement. So we're, we're taking it away from the balance in the bank statement. We're still out. We're out by 112 here. So we need to we need we need to add something to this to bring it down from 712 to 600. So. And that normally is a lodgement that's not yet been processed. So uh, come back up here. And normally we well, will see them at the start, the very beginning, whereas the check could be anywhere and there could be more than one check. But here there's only one check before number 64. But the lodgement will have to be in the first two or three days of the month. And it's just a lodgement that was lodged in the last month. And the customer would record that they lodged this money, 112 euro, in their January accounts. But the bank must have got it at the end of maybe on a Friday and they didn't process it until uh, two days later or so. So that 112 should be added to the 400. So you come back here and go and so that was the lodgement. What lodgement? QP and check 58 was it? So there were the two thing. And the it wasn't 400, it was 112. What am I at? So, and now we've reconciled to the 600, and then we'll say Okay, and it's reconciled to the opening balance as per the T count. So that's part A done. Next is to go on to part B. And before you do that, you just come back in here and we cancel off cancel off anything that's we've looked at. So we've looked at the closing balance. That's gone. We're happy with that. We're happy with that 400. And we've done this lodgement and we've done check 58. So just get rid of them because we're happy. Now we do a ticking exercise and go down through uh, comparing each one to the other. So check 64 here, 130. If it agrees with down here, we just cancel the two of them off that there's no problem. So what I'm doing now, sorry, is I'm going on to completing the adjusted bank T account. And the aim of this is to see, did I make any mistakes or errors in the T account? And if so, I have to correct them. And 
did I leave out anything and I have to add it in. So, but the first step you do is to just tick off everything. Check 65 is 88 euros. So I just come down here, check 65 is 68. Okay, so 68 versus 88. So this is wrong. It needs to go down by 20. So I have minus 20 beside that. And I just ticked it off here because I don't want it to be, because I'm going to correct it. Let's check 66, 67 or next. I don't see any checks. And the easiest way to look for it is check numbers. And there's no check 66 or 67 down in the bank statement. So I'm going to circle these guys. That'll let me know that I have to do something about them. Check 69, 580. No, check 68. Okay, check 69, 580. Check 69. 680. Okay, I need to correct the error in the t-count. So 680 versus 580. So this needs to go up by 100. And remember, I said the bank statement is always right. So we have to correct the customer record and add 100 to that. Check 70 is next. 117. 171. Okay, so the difference between 117 and 171, just Fifty four. So we need to add fifty four to this to bring it up to one seven one because the bank will have checked will have got the check in and uh, they'll we assume that the bank is right. Not all in real life you mightn't, but for these questions you have to. And check seventy one six ninety. And there is no check seventy one here. So that's another one I'm going to circle. I might do a better circle than that, will I? No, we'll go with that. Can't find the row. The oh, there's the eraser. Let's see. Can I do a better job? Now we go to the next side. Lodgement GI a thousand, thirteenth of February. Lodgement GI is here. The fourteenth, but a day is fine. It's a couple of days. Uh, not an issue. It's a hundred. Okay. So we assume the bank statement is right always. So this is wrong, and it needs to go down. It's a hundred. It's nine hundred too much. It should only be one hundred. So, recorded an extra zero. So that's that. Done. Lodgement DE two ninety. Lodgement DE is here. Two ninety. Okay, they agree. Lodgement TT three hundred. So I come down and find lodgement TT three thirty. Okay, it's thirty difference. Let me go up by thirty because it was three thirty. Lodgement UG is 750. UG 705. Okay, there's a difference of 45. It needs to go down by 45. And then Lodgement LM. At the end of the month, there's nothing. Okay, that's that much done. And then when we go down here, we'll see the things that are unticked. Is this dividend? So on the money inside, the credit side here, there's a dividend, and we've no dividend recorded here. With a standing order, check 68 and bank check. So three things money out, and we have none of these recorded up here. We've no check 68, so that must have been a mistake. And we've no bank charges and no standing orders. So we have to. So that makes sense for us. So after doing this, now we're in a position to do the adjusted bank T account. And all you do, you do a new one. It's like we're doing a new T-account, or we're just updating this T-account. And it's like you're drawing a line under here. And you're just starting from here, because all of these, the net position of all of these at the moment is 530. So our starting point with the just a T-account is 530 on the credit side. And so that's what we start with here, 530 on the credit side. And then we're going to adjust. And the easiest way to remember is, it will do the errors first. If it's a minus, how you correct the error is put on the other side. If it's plus, you put it on the same side. So on the credit side here, we should have written 680. We wrote 580. So we need to add 100 to the credit side. So you're going to put 100 here. 54 will go here. This minus is going to come over this side. So and then we have a minus 900 here. So if it's minus, it just goes the other side. 
because we don't have any, we can't do a minus figure in a T count. So if you want to reduce the debit side, you put something on the credit side and vice versa. Plus 30, so that'll go here. And 45 is a minus, so. So the first thing to do is just look at the, what you've done here. And now you won't be doing it underneath here like I've done, but I just did it there quickly. So I'll, I'll do it a bit slower now. So check 65 is the first error. It's a minus 20. So we should see 20. So we come back to here and we just put in the adjustment for 20 there. Uh, next is, and I'll just go down one side, uh, check 69 is plus 100 and check 7117. So we should put in those adjustments on the credit side, increase the credit side by 154. So that's the two of them copied and there's the two adjustments. So that's those three adjustments done. Now we look at this side and anything on the minus on this side will go on the credit side. Any plus will go on the same side. So when it's plus it goes on the same side and then minus the other side. So minus 900 and minus 45 should end up on the credit side. There's the adjustments for there. And then this 30 plus 30, so the plus goes on the same side. So we have an error. So that's it so far. Then that's all the errors done. So you come down then to, you ignore anything you've circled up here because it's already in the T account. So you come down to what's not been uh, ticked off here. So we have a dividend standing order check. So what's happened is there's been a dividend lodged electronically into the bank account. And the, bank's, and the bank statement has picked it up, but we haven't recorded it. So we need to show 36 euro coming into the account and they're always the opposite side. So that's 36. There should be, well, it won't be up there. It should have been up there, but it wasn't. So in our adjusted bank, in our adjusted bank T account on the debit side, you're going to see 36 and that'll look like this. So dividend now recorded 36 euro. Then we come down here. The only other things are all on the money outside the debit side standing order, check 68 bank charges. These weren't recorded in the T account, so we'll see. We should show in our adjusted T account 110, 500 on the money outside. So we just come back. So these are all the monies out that weren't recorded. I don't need that there. I'm going to go at that. So now we're in a position to balance the T account. So to balance the account, you get the total on both sides. This side's up to 86. This side's 2880. The balance is the difference between the two. So 2194. So the adjusted balance and the, uh, is, so I'll just call it adjusted balance, so down maybe. It's 2194 and then I'd add bring up the balance brought down. And that's the adjusted T count. And then when we come back down to our bank statement and we adjust it for part C, that A39 should now agree to the 2194. And, and that's a credit balance, so it should be minus figure. And the adjusted bank statement is a bit like what we did at the very start. Remember, for part A, we looked at the opening balance, we added any lodgements, and we took away checks. We're going to do the same here. We're going to start, but it's going to be the closing balance. Okay, let's do a different order, because we did it a different order there. We're going to plus lodgements, not yet processed, <laughs> and take away checks. So we just go to our bank statement. Our closing balance in the bank statement is A39, and that's a minus. Lodgements yet to be processed are up here. So it's so what we're doing now is whatever has been in the T account that hasn't appeared down here, and we've circled it. So this 400 lodgement LM, and all that's happened is that's been lodged into February. The bank hasn't processed it yet, so 
that 400 has yet to come through. So it's uh, LM, I'll just write. And uncashed checks are next. And these are these guys, 66, 67, and 71. Now, you could leave a bit of room. It could, you can, 66, because it's just messy. So we'll just add two rows in there. And another one. Sixty-six, sixty-seven, and seventy-one. Cha, right, I'll change that. But all that comes in is the three two one, the seven four four, and the six ninety. And then all we do is okay, with a minus. So minus eight three nine plus four hundred minus all these. But that's confusing. These are all minus figures, so all the minuses added together will give you one big figure and then take away 400 and you'll just get a smaller minus figure. And then we get 2194, which is agrees to the balance on the adjusted T count, the adjusted balance. So that's how we know we're right. And we've done that by correcting the errors up here. These were the errors in the T count. And then we put the emissions in what was not recorded. And we got a new balance in the T-account. And then we just went to the bank statement. Got the closing balance. And to the closing balance, we added the lodgement of 400, which isn't yet recorded. So really, all you do really is come down. Add in the 400. So you just take what's up here, 321744 and 690. And then it's minus three two one minus seven four four minus six ninety. Anything that's circled up here. And that is part C and you just get the total of all that, which we did here. So I hope that was useful and enjoy the rest of the bank reconciliation questions.